as you know, Donald Trump was arraigned in New York City. And then two nights ago, he went back to Florida. He went to Mar-a-Lago and he gave a speech. And uh, most of the networks were covering it. Uh, here's how Rachel Maddow on MSNBC, the televised mental institution known as MSNBC, here's how she chose to cover it is making remarks tonight um, from his home in Florida. As far as we can tell, and what we were prepared for here is that this is basically a campaign speech in which he is repeating his same lies and allegations against his perceived enemies. It is just getting started. Um, so far, he's just giving his normal list of grievances. We don't consider that necessarily newsworthy, and there's a cost to us as a news organization of knowingly broadcasting untrue things. So uh, our deal with you is that we will monitor these remarks. If he does say anything newsworthy, we will turn them around and report on that right away. But uh, for now, just know that it's happening and we're not taking it. Wow, Rachel, you're such a journalist. You're such a journalist. You won't broadcast untrue things. Hot diggity dog, where did we find this? It means that instead of the vaccine being able, excuse me, it means for instead of the virus being able to hop from person to person to person to person, spreading and spreading, sickening some of them, but not all of them. And the ones that it doesn't sicken don't know they have it. And then they give it to even more people because they didn't recognize they were... Right? Instead of the virus being able to hop from person to person to person, potentially mutating and becoming more virulent and drug resistant along the way, now we know that the vaccines work well enough that the virus stops with every vaccinated person. A vaccinated person gets exposed to the virus. The virus does not infect them. The virus cannot then use that person to go anywhere else. It cannot use a vaccinated person as a host to go get more people. That means the vaccines will get us to the end of this. Okay, so everything she said right there was untrue. Now, you might be going, but Dave, she didn't knowingly lie about that stuff. Except the problem is she knowingly swallowed the propaganda that Pfizer and Moderna and the NIH and the CDC and Fauci and everybody else were, were putting out there. That's not the job of a journalist. That's the job of a public relations executive. And that's what she acts as while she is on, once again, the televised mental institution known as MSNBC. Glenn Greenwald, who's an actual journalist, an independent journalist, who I actually have some political disagreements with, uh, he watched that clip of Maddow talking about Trump, and he tweeted this out. I thought this was just perfect. He wrote, the person, talking about Maddow, who won a $30 million a year Comcast contract by telling liberals Biden laptop was Russian disinformation, lab leak was debunked, Trump had secret server with Alpha Bank, Russia put bon bounties on U.S. soldiers, says she's too worried about the lies to show Trump's speech. So you get it, guys, you get it.